In this video, I'm gonna tell you why I own General Motors stock and why I think you should strongly consider owning it as well. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a major transformation going on at General Motors right now. I like to call this era GM 2.0 because what Mary Barra and her team are doing right now is one of the most profound strategic turnarounds not just in the auto industry, but in the entire business world as a whole. You have to remember that General Motors is the company behind some of the most iconic cars and iconic nameplates, such as the Chevy Corvette, the Chevy Camaro, the entire Cadillac brand, and Buick. Yes, Buick. Fun fact, while there aren't that many Buicks that are sold in the United States, the Chinese absolutely love them, and that's why the Chinese market accounts for 80% of Buick sales globally. Anyways, this video isn't about any one GM brand in particular. This video is about General Motors as a whole and why I think it's transforming into a world-class company and why I think it's a great stock to hold in your portfolio for the long term. So in this video, we're going to cover four reasons why buying General Motors stock right now is a great idea. But before I do that, if you could smash that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated. The first reason that I'm investing in General Motors is because they are becoming an electric vehicle company. Unless you've been completely out of touch, we all know that electric vehicles and the electric vehicle manufacturers are the future of the automotive industry, and there are very few companies that are better positioned for this EV future than General Motors. General Motors is calling this strategy electrification. Essentially, it's their commitment to put every driver in an electric vehicle on a scale previously unseen and bring the world to an all electric future. And unlike other auto manufacturers, General Motors isn't planning on releasing, you know, one or two electric car models while still producing dozens of cars with internal combustion engines. No, General Motors is planning to offer 30 new EVs globally by 2025, and if you're curious how they're going to do this, the answer is simple. It's a new electric vehicle architecture that GM has developed called Altium. Now, if you're planning to invest in General Motors, it's critical that you understand what Altium is because it's the key to GM's future success. Essentially, the Altium architecture is comprised of four major elements. You have the Altium platform, the Altium battery, Altium drive, and the Altium battery management system. What makes Altium so unique and so special is that all future GM electric vehicles will be utilizing this architecture. Now this architecture is so flexible and so agile that you can build trucks, you can build SUVs, crossovers, cars, and even commercial vehicles all using the same architecture. This means that every car in GM's lineup will pretty much have the same underpinnings. Now this may not seem like a big deal, but it is a big deal because it allows GM to build electric vehicles for every customer and every segment of the market across the world. So if GM wants to build a compact car, they use the Altium architecture. If they need to build a heavy duty Silverado, they use the Altium architecture. If they need to build a Hummer EV like they are doing, they use the Altium architecture. For General Motors, this means that the vehicles will be easier to service and it will allow them to bring new models to the marketplace faster than ever. Altium batteries have an estimated range of up to 450 miles on a full charge with zero to 60 times as low as three seconds. And the Altium architecture supports front wheel drive, it supports rear wheel drive, and all wheel drive applications. As an investor, this means that General Motors will be more agile than ever before. Now, if they see a consumer trend or tastes changing, they don't need to start from scratch. They can just leverage their existing Altium architecture and cater to customers' needs and demands on the fly. This also means that General Motors will be spending less on developing new products and will be able to sell their cars at a much more competitive price. And as an investor, this type of agility is what I like to see. So yes, Altium is a complete game changer for General Motors and is one of the major reasons that I am a long-term investor in General Motors. The second reason that I'm investing in General Motors is because of their future all-electric products. General Motors is planning to release 30 new electric vehicles across the globe by the year 2025 under the company's $35 billion EV investment. General Motors already has an all-electric vehicle in the Chevrolet Bolt, but that's not the reason I want to own the stock. The reason that I'm interested in owning the stock is because of the fully electric vehicles that are just around the corner. 
General Motors has recently announced a bunch of new EVs, including the Cadillac Lyric, the all-new electric Hummer, and the all-new all-electric Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra, which are expected to be announced later this year. And speaking of the Hummer, when GM started allowing reservations for the new Hummer, they literally filled up the order book within minutes. Yes, it was only a $100 deposit, but the fact that they sold out of them in minutes goes to show the type of consumer enthusiasm that is surrounding this new truck. GM is finally giving the people what they want. I mean, why wouldn't you want this truck? It looks amazing, it's all electric, and the stats on it are simply incredible. It has a 300 plus mile range, uh, it charges up to 100 miles in 10 minutes, it has a thousand horsepower, and does zero to 60 in three seconds. Now, I'm not gonna deep dive into each one of the models, but as of right now, I'm super excited about the Hummer, and if GM is able to deliver in this way on other EV models that they have in the future, they are going to sell a lot of cars, and quite frankly, I completely expect them to sell a lot of cars. You see, General Motors can be viewed as a little bit late to the EV party when you compare it to the likes of Tesla. But when you compare General Motors to the broader automobile industry, they are way ahead of the curve, and that's frankly another reason that I want to own the stock going into the future. I've said this numerous times in some of my past videos, and I will say it again. The electrification of automobiles is still in its early innings, and as an investor, this is an opportunity that you don't want to miss out on. The third reason that I'm invested in General Motors is that they are leveraging and have established some key partnerships that will deliver world-class products in the future. General Motors is the majority owner in Cruise, which is a self-driving company that's developing the world's most advanced self-driving vehicles. If you haven't heard of Cruise, go and check out their website. They are literally on the brink of transforming our lives. Along with Cruise, GM also has a partnership with LG to develop electric vehicle battery cells. And earlier this year, GM and LG announced that they would be investing $2.3 billion in a manufacturing plant located in Spring Hill, Tennessee. And GM is also collaborating with Microsoft to accelerate the commercialization of self-driving vehicles. And they're also working with Honda on the Cruise Origin, a fully autonomous vehicle. You see, General Motors wants to move to a future of zero crashes, zero emissions, and zero congestion. And by leveraging Microsoft's cloud computing platform, Azure, they will be able to do this sooner rather than later. All of these partnerships are strategic partnerships that will undoubtedly boost the potential of General Motors' electric and autonomous vehicle future. Many times, auto manufacturers or just companies in general refuse to work together or form partnerships for the advancement of an industry. And this lack of knowledge sharing can be extremely detrimental. So the fact that General Motors isn't afraid to work with others for the advancement of the industry and for the advancement of their own company gives me a lot of confidence as an investor. It tells me that they are fully committed to electric vehicles and fully committed to autonomous driving and will go to any length necessary to achieve their goal. And as an investor, that is something that I like to see, especially when you consider how competitive the automotive industry has been and is going to be going into the future. The fourth reason that I'm buying General Motors is because I strongly believe that the stock price is undervalued and I strongly believe that it's going to break out. I think GM should be viewed as a technology company and not as a traditional automotive manufacturer. And I'm not alone in sharing this sentiment. General Motors has shifted from a traditional combustion engine manufacturer into a battery manufacturer. They are developing autonomous vehicles by leveraging world-class research, world-class technology, and world-class partnerships with the likes of LG and Microsoft. I've always said that our cars will eventually turn into iPhones on wheels. They will literally have many of the same components, and the companies that take the lead in the transition from automaker to technology company are going to dominate the future of the industry. The fact is that General Motors has gone all in on electric vehicles and investors are just now taking notice. GM is becoming Tesla. 
but it is still trading at a traditional automaker valuation. And just because the investing community is starting to become more bullish on General Motors, doesn't mean that the general population is becoming bullish on General Motors. I mean, many people that I talk to don't even know that General Motors is in the middle of a massive transformation. And I don't blame them for not knowing or not having confidence in General Motors, because frankly, GM has let us down in the past, but I don't think they're gonna let us down in the future. As I'm releasing this video, GM is up over 3% on the day at a little over $57 a share, but it is trading down from its recent high on June 8th of $63.92. Currently, GM has a PE ratio of 9.23. Now you may think that I'm overly bullish on General Motors, but even the analysts that cover the stock generally feel the same way as I do. I typically take analyst price targets with a grain of salt, but you can't completely ignore them because these analysts spend their entire working lives researching the stocks that they cover. And Dan Ives, who is a very well-known technology analyst at Wedbush, just initiated coverage on General Motors and gave it a buy rating and an $85 price target, which implies an upside of over 50%. When Wedbush and Dan Ives initiated coverage on General Motors, it was a big deal because they don't typically cover automotive stocks. And when they came out and gave it an $85 price target, it was an even bigger deal. In fact, of the 21 analysts that are covering General Motors stock right now, the average price target is $72.14, which implies an average upside of over 25%. With any company, there is a bullish case and there is a bearish case, and I clearly covered the bullish case because I'm bullish on GM and I wanted you all to know why. Now, no, I don't wanna tell you how to invest your money, but I do wanna tell you how I am investing mine. You see, that's the purpose of this video. I wanna show you all why I'm investing in the company and encourage all of you to do your own research and see if it's right for you as well. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them below and I will get back to you. With that, I'm going to call it a video. I hope you all learned something new today if anything, I hope you learned that General Motors is in the middle of an epic transformation and I strongly believe that this is a good time to own the stock for the long term. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you all next time.